Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're going to talk about why you leave raw geometry untagged. So it's one of those things that if you've been around SketchUp for a while, if you've been in our forums, if you've been talking to people, you know that you leave raw geometry untagged and tag groups and components. It's like the sky's blue, water's wet, raw geometry is untagged. It's one of those things that, that a lot of people say they know that there's problems, but uh, maybe don't always know why or don't know an example of what the problems would be. Um, there are probably a lot of issues that come up, but I found one in particular that I thought would be worth talking about and just show some examples of what can happen if you don't use tags the way that it is intended to use them. And this goes back, this is, I'm gonna say the L word, so previous versions of SketchUp, this is layers or layer zero as opposed to untagged. So if you're, if you're using a legacy version, it's still true even back to layers. It's not something new because of tagged. Uh, you could just separate or er, rename untagged to layer zero as I go through this and it will apply to previous versions of SketchUp as well. Let's hop in. All right, so I have this model and I have three sets of pulleys. This issue is going to come up, of course, as we start using groups and components. So in this, uh, I have, let's just zoom in here and, and look at this one right here. So I have uh, a series of pieces. So I have this piece right here. Um, if I explode that out, I can see that that's actually made up of multiple pieces. I have this piece, uh, like, I don't know, spindle, I don't know, a pulley, belt, and then same thing down below. I have these separate pieces and they're all sitting on this big locked wall. This part's not important. This, this is just background. What we really want to look at is how these pieces are organized. So I'm going to grab one. I'm going to grab this pulley right here. I'm going to double click to go into it and see I have, uh, you know, faces and edges. Nothing really complicated or weird about this geometry. Pretty simple. But you can see as I'm picking through here, over here, everything I'm picking is untagged. Whether it's a surface, a circle, an edge, whatever, all these pieces are going to be on the untag. This is the proper way to do it. We're starting with the way you should do it. If I come out here, I pick that same pulley again. Everything's a group in this example, but the same thing would go for components. So if I look at this group right here, I can see this is on the tag pulley. Uh, grab that spindle in the middle. That's on a, on a tag called base. Right here, we got a belt on the tag belt. Same thing at the bottom. Here's my base. Here's my pulley. So that's what's happening. And, and you, I guess you could trust me or we can actually look at it. So all the geometry on the inside is, is untagged. This is the way it's meant to happen. So if I look at some of these things, if I come over here to my, my tags and I start toggling stuff off, let's take that belt off. All right, the belt goes away, it looks good. Let's take our pulleys off, pulley disappear. All right, let's take the bases off and I'm down to just the wall. This is the way I would expect it to work. And we can get it, we could get into things too where, okay, now if I wanna grab these two pieces together and create a group there and then put that on a new tag, how we could toggle both, but that's pretty basic tag stuff. That works just the same. All right, so this is the yes. This gets the thumbs up, this is how it should happen. Now let's say hypothetically, I'm, I'm a bit of a rebel and I don't necessarily like to play by your rules. So what I'm gonna do instead is as I go into each of these, I'm gonna grab all my geometry and I'm gonna put that geometry onto tags. You can't stop me. Okay, so here's what I did, that's what I did in this example. All the groups are on untagged. Geometry on the inside is on the different tags. So you could think right now that, well, that it should function the same way, right? As I turn, to, so I'm not even talking about nesting groups or multiple pieces together. So I very cleanly, very intentionally, as a group was done, put the geometry into different tags. What happens here? Well, let's, let's see, let's go, let's run through the same way. I'm gonna turn my belt off. Oh, belt goes away. I'm gonna turn my pulleys off. Pull, pulleys kinda go away. I'm gonna turn my base off and what? So some things are happening. So you can see I got these artifacts. These, these, these lines are, are flying around here. This is, is a result of 
uh, profiles getting created based on smooth surfaces. So when you have a smooth surface, it doesn't get profiles or lines except for at the edge and they're getting generated. They get generated on the untagged layer. So what you end up with is this geometry, which you would want to see inside of your geometry showing up when the tags are turned off. Here's another thing. I just got into a tag of something that's turned off. Over here, I can't select these because the groups are on off tags. And here, I have a tagged group that everything inside is turned off, which makes it very, very difficult to work inside of SketchUp because now I'm selecting stuff that's not actually there. So a couple reasons why you would want to steer clear of going this direction. It seems like, like I said, that's that's methodical. This is this is the mind of a crazy person right here who would go deliberately backwards, but I'm not calling anybody crazy. It happens. Sometimes people think they're doing the same thing by putting geometry on those layers. So that's, like I said, this is this is borderline sociopathic behavior right here. Let's talk about the real world, right? So what really happens a lot of times is as people are modeling, they'll grab a surface and they'll throw it on a tag thinking, oh, I want to be able to just toggle that on and off. If you are working on something, if I'm in here and I'm working on this and I want to see inside my pulley, don't put this on a tag and taggle, toggle the tag off. Say that three times fast. Go ahead, right click, hide it temporarily, do your business, whatever you got to work on in here, then go up to view and say, I'm sorry, go to edit and unhide last and bring it back. Or, I mean, with something this simple, you could probably just delete it and then draw a line to bring it back later. That would work as well. Oh, in this case, a little, little extra work because I got to trim that hole back out. So yeah, hiding's probably easier. Do that. Don't apply raw geometry to a tag knowing you're going to flip it off and flip it back on. That is the probably the biggest problem because that gets you into this, case number three. Um, let's look at this. So my groups currently are untagged. If I come in here, my geometry, okay, untagged, oh, tagged, tagged, untagged. Um, so I have a combination of tagged and untagged geometry. So this is going to cause problems where here, let's go through here and use our, our tags for visibility, which is really what they're intended for at this point. Um, let's turn the bases off. Okay, bases kind of went away. Let's turn the pulleys off. Uh oh, you can see where this is going. Belts. So this not only has the problem. See, here's my here's my phantom uh, rounded over edges. I also have this geometry floating around that's on untagged, while the rest of the geometry is not. This is probably the biggest problem uh, that gets created, and this is created, like I said, by taking geometry as you're doing it and dropping it onto different tags. It's always done with the intention of temporarily just, you know, I'm just turning it off for a second. I'm going to come, right? I'll be right back. I promise. Um, and it just doesn't happen. So basically, what you want to do is be this guy over here. Super simple. It's actually harder to do this, harder to do it wrong than it is to do it easy. Because if you leave untagged as active, little pencil just stays on untagged all the time, then anything you draw, whether you copy it, whether you copy paste, whether you draw it with a tool from scratch, it's going to go onto untagged. The only time you're going to change the tag is when you create a group or component, any object, you're going to come over and use the UI to assign that to the proper tag. If you do that, you'll never have any of these kind of problems we got over here. If you want something to go away, you can individually temporarily hide pieces or once they end up on to on their different tags, you can just turn them off. That's the whole point of tags. So this is an example. There are, like I said, there are other problems when we start talking about nesting that gets into even bigger problems with tags, but this is a simple example and hopefully enough information to keep you, remind you to only tag your components and not your raw geometry. This is one of those things that comes up on forums like on a regular basis. Somebody will have something that's behaving weird or I'm merging geometry with geometry I can't see or something like that. And a lot of times it comes back to this sort of thing. There's actually a handful of extensions out there. Um, I think TIG has one. I can't remember the name of it. Um, it might be 
all to layer zero or something like that. Uh, the cleanup from TomTom Tom has a function where it puts all base geometry, I think they say layer zero or, or untagged. Uh, there's, so there's extensions out there to help clean up the process. But if you just be conscious of that one thing, tagging is for objects, only groups and components get tags, it's really pretty easy to avoid. I hope you liked that video. If so, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment. Share your horror story of tagging incorrectly. It's, it's fun to look back on now, hopefully. Uh, it can be painful when you're in it, but you know, we like hearing it. And we like making these videos, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.